Hello, welcome to this PowerPoint tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to design an interactive infographic to present to your team or communicate eight important pieces of information visually and attractively. So let's get started. From the Insert tab, select Shapes and choose the circle hollow shape. Place it on the slide. Make sure it's big enough. Then, adjust the size of the circle using the yellow point that appears on the left. Select it and move it inward until you get the desired size. In this video, I will stop here. Next, from Insert Shapes, select the rectangle shape and draw a thin one over the circle. Crossing it vertically from top to bottom as shown in the video. Now duplicate the rectangle four times, select it and drag it while holding down Alt to duplicate it. Rotate the second rectangle to the right so it lies horizontally and place it in the center of the circle. Rotate the third rectangle approximately 45 degrees and position it in the center. Rotate the fourth rectangle to the left and place it in the center as well. These four rectangles should form an asterisk. Select all shapes and align them to the center by going to Shape Format. Then choosing Align and Align Center and Align in Middle. Now select all the shapes you create. You can do this by clicking and dragging to create a selection rectangle that covers all the shapes or by using Ctrl plus A. Then navigate the navigate to shape format, choose March shapes and select fragment. Delete any unnecessary parts such as the center and the circle divisions, just as it shows in the video. After fragmentation and deletion, you'll have eight figures forming a circle. Assign a different color to each one. If you forgot to remove the outline shape like I did, select all shapes and choose not outline from the shape outlines options. Afterward, insert another circle hollow shape, fill it with white color, and remove the outline. Then, under Shape Format and Shape Effects, apply an outer shadow named Offset Center. Duplicate them by holding Alt and move the circles into the corners of each figure. Now, insert images of your team or icons into the middle of each circle hollow to align the images in the center. Select the image and, ho and the hollow circle. Go to Arrange, Align, Align Center, Align Middle. And then group the images with their corresponding circles. Once you've done that, insert a circle and place it in the center. Then add the title of the slide by double clicking on the circle. In this case, I wrote Project Workforce. And now we are all set to begin with the animations, which are quite straightforward. Then start by grouping all the elements. To do this, either press Ctrl plus A to select all elements or click and drag to create a selection rectangle covering all the shapes. Once selected, uh, right click on the elements and choose the group option. Next, select the slide from the 
thumbnail view and right click to duplicate it. On the duplicated slide, you will notice that when selected, corners handles appear and a circular day at the top. From one of the corners handles, such as the bottom right, resize the shape to the desired size and move it to the left. Then, using the circular arrow that appears above, rotate the shape approximately 25 degrees. After rotating it, right click and select Ungroup. Once the elements uh, are ungrouped, rotate the portals and text back to the left while keeping the other shapes as they are. Afterward, um, choose the display figure on the screen and enlarge it from one of the corners while holding down the shift key to ensure uniform growth on all the slides. Additionally, increase the size of uh, both the circle and the photo. Return to the previous slide, right click on the elements and select ungroup. Then select both slides, navigate to the transitions tab and opt for more to apply the initial animation. Finally, complete the slide by adding the desired text. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Now repeat the process by duplicating the second slide instead of the first before duplicating it. Ensure all shapes are grouped again. On the duplicated slide, rotate the elements by 25 degrees and group them. Uh, keep the figure that was enlarged in the previous slide at its original size and adjust the colors and text accordingly. Enlarge the figure on this slide as, demos as demonstrated in the video and text return to the previous slide. Ungroup all the elements, add a morph transition to the newly created slide and that's it. Repeat this process six more times. I guide you through it again. Just keep watching the video. It's exactly the same each time. Don't forget to change the text on each slide. I'll fast forward the recording now because it's just doing the sign into we finish with all team members.
After finishing with all team members, you can duplicate the first slide and that would be it for this infographic. Now you have a creative infographic and it's not only creative, it's also <laughs> amazing and it is animated. <laughs> Tell me what do you think about this infographic? Will you use it and what is scenarios? This template, this template is available for free on pptheams.com. Here you can see the final result. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment suggesting which template you would like to learn to create and download it for free as well. Thank you for watching and have a nice week.